Hello everyone. Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Citizens Bank, and PNC have just announced more bank closures. This story is going to continue from 2023 into 2024 and it will ramp up this year. Matter of fact, even this story out of the Daily Mail, out of the UK, they're covering it because they know that it's a big deal. In 2023, banks were closing branches at a incredible pace. Banks are doing huh, less with less. I can't say more with less because there are less employees in every bank branch now. There are less transactions happening, more being done online. And if you need cash, they make it almost darn near impossible and make you feel like a criminal coming to get your money. This story again is out of the Daily Mail. It says another 31 branch closures in just one week is yours affected. It says here, American banks filed to close 31 branches in a single week this month with Wells Fargo and PNC accounting for more than half. Each of the two banks said they would shut eight branches across Alabama, Florida, Indiana, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Texas, California, Connecticut, North Dakota, and New Jersey. Texas was hit the worst with closures set for Houston, Laredo, and Cyprus. Other banks to have announced they would shutter local locations between February 11th and 17th include Bank of America, Santander, Chase, Citizens, Key Bank, and Legacy. It's interesting that one of the cities uh, affected by this blank bank closures was Cyprus in Texas, where in Cyprus, in on the other side of the world, in 2014 or 2015, it was like complete shock and awe when their banking system had a crisis. And it was overnight that banks closed down and actually took depositors' money. I'm not saying that's happening here, but you have to see these cycles and what's happening. It says, despite scheduling a closure, Chase has bucked the trend by opening more branches than it closed in recent years. Now, I have to remind you that Chase, purchasing the best assets from Silicon Valley Bank, boosted their size. I want to remind you that the best assets that a bank has is their deposits. Why? Because when a bank has people depositing money, they can loan more money out. So when a bank closes, the cream of the crop of the assets that a bank has is their deposits. If a bank closes and another bank comes and just simply grabs their depositors and says, come under us, we're going to buy the bank, we're going to get rid of all the crap, we now control these depositors. That's massive leverage in the Federal Reserve banking system. Massive. They can tout more accounts. They can tout, tout more money in their accounts. They can go and leverage even more. That's the most, that's the cream of the crop. Then secondary to that is loans that are out given to good, good standing borrowers, which Right now, the, the level of good standing borrowers are actually depleting because defaults are now starting to increase in auto loans, car loans, I'm sorry, auto loans, uh, student loans, and uh, uh, mortgages. Defaults are increasing. Credit cards, those, all that stuff, it's, it's increasing. Albeit it's increasing at a small amount, but it also did that in 2005 before the Great Recession, and then it just gets worse and worse and worse, and it is going to get worse and worse and worse. It says here, last month, Chase said that it would pursue a different strategy from other major U.S. banks opening 500 locations in the next three years. Of the total 15 openings, uh, banks reported to the Office of the Comptroller of Currency, which regulates banks, five were made by Chase, two were in California, and one in Georgia. Dozens of banks filed notice to close a total of 1,566 branches last year, according to the data from the OCC. In contrast, they only notified the regulator of plans to open 472. So a net loss happened in the banking system in 2023. The last time the number of commercial bank branches in the US, U.S. increased was in 2011 when there were more than 85,000 according to the FDIC. I want to remind you the reason why it, that happened in 2011, why bank branches increased, was because they had shut down so many branches across the nation from 2007 up to 2010. Please understand how these cycles work. People need to understand history before they understand what's coming into the future. 
Uh, it says, since then, the number of physical branches has dropped fairly steadily to about 70,000. So we went from a peak of 85,000 in 2011 to uh, now we're sitting around 70,000. Other banks to have filed to open branches this month include Huntington Bank, Bank of America, Chino Commercial Bank, Fifth Third, and Liano uh, Bank in Texas. It's interesting, Chino Commercial Bank, my uh, family banked at in Chino. Uh, Wells Fargo has been a front runner in the closure of costly brick and mortar banking locations across the country. The point being is that the cycle of bank closures are going to increase. It's going to get worse because of technology and especially because of the invention of AI really hitting the mass market last two Decembers ago. Please understand that your job if you're in a bank is threatened. If you don't understand how that works, please start to look into it because if you work in the banking industry, it is a dying industry. Everything will be done on a phone. Everything will be done on a chip one day. And those are scary days ahead. We have to prepare for these. I hope you're preparing. Thank you so much for watching. The Real Estate Ninja is out.